everyone, Jess here from Nigesa.co.uk. Thank you for pressing play today. Uh, today is the last day of celebration. So if you're watching this um, on the 31st of March, um, 2019, last day of celebration. So I'm doing my last celebration project. Um, and, um, and it's Mother's Day over here in the UK as well. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm gonna make this cube. Now I made this absolutely years ago. Um, and um, it is, um, I've made quite a few of these for different presents for people and they're just lovely, it's just a photo cube and you can decide, it's one of my favourite photos of my eldest and um, partner, that's my youngest, um, a bit older now, uh, when they were little. Um, so um, I'm going to make this and I'm going to use the lovely butterfly gala papers, We're, not butterfly gala, I'm mixing, I'm mixing up my products. Um, uh, butterfly, uh, botanical butterfly uh, paper. And um, I just love it. And I've still got some um, stuff left to enjoy. So we have the coloured side, um, which this will punch out with a punch. These will punch out with a little punch. You've seen me do projects with this before. Um, this one. The lovely green and then there is the lovely lilac which is what we're using today i've done a project with that before but i love it and then on the other side we have black and white and i used that one yesterday to to color in um and um and i've used these as well to make a lovely little mini album which you may remember from a pinky's retreat and it is a pinky a fellow pinky um who inspired this project although i've, I've made them before I um, haven't made them for ages and I've been thinking for a long time I really must make one of these again and it was watching um, a video by uh, Kate Bolt she's Ink Stamp Share um, and she did um, made these and, and turned it into a mini album and it's amazing and I love it and um, so I thought oh I was thinking of what I wanted to do a mini album for my last project because I like doing mini albums, as you will know. Um, but instead, I'm going to do my photo cube. So, done a bit of prepping. So you need six of these. So I have made uh, five. And so I'm going to make the sixth one with you and then show you how you put it all together to make the cube. And it is actually really quite simple. Um, now, where have I put that piece of paper now that I was going to use? I've put it back in the packet, haven't I? What a wally. Yeah. You can tell it's my favourite bit because that's all I've got left. Right, so six by six. So you need one and a half sheets of, of, of 12 by 12. Now, I use my trimmer to to help I um, you don't have to score it you could just fold it you're going to do lots and lots of folding the key to this is in the folding and the burnishing but I I like to to burnish so I like to use get that out of the way I like to use the bone folder down here so there we are doing it at three so half and half again and then we're going to do it at one and a half. One and a half. And then one and a half on these two sides. So you're getting it into quarters. So we'll get these folded up first. So we fold it in half. And sometimes when you're scoring, it's not quite accurate. So I use the butter up there. And then... And you need to really burnish well. So that's it. Oh, look. See? Not folded quite right. There. That's why I use the butter. So although it's scored... I can ease it into the right place. So then let's go this way. Uh, 
but that one's fine. And then we're folding these up. Check they're in the right place. Might go a little bit over a bit there. They should meet in the middle. And then the other way round. I did these all last night whilst watching a film. Watched a film. It's called Film Stars Don't Die in Liverpool. Oh my God. How much did I cry at the end of that? Beautiful film, I thought. One I recommend if you like a good cry. There we go. So that is that folded, as you can see. So we've got all our little quarters. I'm going to move this um, out the way now um, because to do the diagonal, I just meet the ends up and score it that way. You can score on the diagonal, but I tended to do this one without and then that diagonal. So an awful lot of folding. And then we're just folding in. To the centre. Reminds me of them no glue boxes. So a similar sort of folding. Take my phone folder. And then just fold up to that score line there. And you don't want to be doing this with really heavy paper because it will probably crack. Um, if you've got low quality, really heavy paper. This paper is perfect. And equally, you don't want too thin paper because it won't, um, it won't hold up. Right, so basically what you're doing, when you look at it like that, you've got a point here, a point here, and a point here. And basically, that point's going to fold down and you're going to turn it in the other way, if you get what I mean. So this side here... As you bring that point down, you're going to fold it up like that. You see? So, point down, fold up like that. Point down. You've got the crease there and it will fold over. don't know if I need to come a little bit closer to the camera if you can see that. So we want that point to come down. It creases there on the big crease to make those triangle bits there. As you start working with it, you kind of see it. And then the last one, like so. So they fold like that. And that's what you end up with. And you just want to go over these edges. I turn it the other way around and give it a good burnish, like so. And then you need to cut a square. So these are these are three inches by three inches. These these squares. So this is. Um, two and seven eighths. So I just took 
a little eighth off this and then that slips in to have an eyelash that slips in these corners and that keeps it in place like that on this one I've put window sheets in um, which you can do to give it protection and I probably will once um, I've done that and I would just cut the window sheets to exactly the same size so we have our six to form our cube and to attach them you need these little hinged bits you need 12 of these um, and they are two inch square and you just need to score it across the center I use my scoreboard for that and I match up the points on the runner and uh, just run the bone folder down fold it over and that's that's that so now it's just a matter of gluing them together so I'm going to use wet glue for this so I've got a little bit of wigglage so we are going to be sticking them in that bit there okay in there and in there that's how we are doing them so I'm going to put a bit of glue on these bits Stick one in there, one in there, I like Tombow because it's quite quick drying, so it's a good glue for this project, but you still have a little bit of wiggle time, okay. So then we just keep doing this. So I'm applying glue to both sides. And you can, when you're cutting your photos, let me slip that a bit. When you're cutting your photos, you could do them. Um, these are two inch square photos, I'm sure, if I remember rightly. Yeah, so I cut at just slightly less than two inches. Um, I cut them at um, one seven eighths, actually, because the aperture. That's a good word, isn't it, for Sunday morning? Um, it's just over two inches um, that you've got there. Um, so you can either fill it or leave it with a with a border, whichever you like. Okay. Um, So once you've done all your folding, it goes together quite quick. And I'm saying it's quite easily done in front of the telly. Whilst you're binge watching something on Netflix. Line of Duty starts tonight. Quite excited about that. That's going to be something to look forward to on a Sunday night. Do love a good cop drama. I did do a master's degree in criminology, so I quite like anything to do with cops, lawyers, prisons. I'll watch. I also watch anything to do with hospitals, so I'll watch Casualty and Holby City, because I was a nurse. And equally, I'll watch anything to do with teachers, because I was a teacher.
my students used to say, is there anything you've never done? <laughs> I have done a lot of jobs. And spent a lot of time doing them as well. There we go. So now we're doing the top bits, these ones. A little bit harder. So stick that one in. And then I'm going to put the glue on it. Stick that one down. should be able to I think when I did it the first time I was using tape and uh, that is harder to use because you haven't got the wiggle room that you've got with this one. I'm going to start sticking it on this side so I've still got the chance to put my hand in. So I normally fast forward things like this, but I think that it's good to see the whole construction of this. Before I push that, I'm going to put that one in. So that's all the bottom ones. So quick drying wet glue is what you need for this project. So I used tape on this and it got a bit, but it's quite tough when it's together. Although, to be fair, you're not exactly going to be playing football with it, are you? It's going to sit on your mantle. Right. Ready. Put the last one in. And then you can close it down and then hold them together to stick.
and it's quite firm there whilst you're holding it down. might want to, if it's come up a bit, you might want to just stick a bit, a bit more glue under there. Stick it in place, maybe the old glue dot you would require. But that's it. And so I just thought I'd demonstrate how to stick a photo. I found a little photo found around my desk, me and one of my sisters. So I've cut it to uh, one and seven eighths square. So I'm going to pop that in there. I'm just going to put some tape on it to hold it in place. Um, when you now can't find the snail. There we are. I'm just going to put a bit of tape there. I'm going to make it not really sticky because this is not the intention for this I'm just showing you so you stick it in center it so it's got a nice border like so and then you can add a window sheet so I've got our window sheet so we sell them in packs of um, 12 by 12 um, so I'm cutting it one eighth of an inch below three, which is about seven and a half centimeters. So I'll go down to the seven and a half centimeters there. And this just gives it some protection and makes it last a bit longer, gives your photos a bit of protection. And then 